what's going on gang thanks so much for tuning back into the channel this has been one heck of a weird day i've uh i was on my way home uh to be honest because the original camp spot that i picked i drove out there it was a brand new spot i've never been to before and when i pulled in i guess they were having some kind of family reunion there i, I don't know what was going on but there was hundreds of people and bugs are everywhere right here but there was just so many people it wouldn't have been fun for me so on the way back home i came here to the lake that i've been at a few times already because i've already got my stuff ready to go for tonight so i didn't want all that to go to waste so i i drove in here and uh it's, it's pretty barren which is good so it is a hot one though i think this is the hottest trip that i've been on this year so i did bring my little ac unit that we're going to be testing out in this hot tent tonight to make sure that uh i can survive now again i'm not going to be doing any 100 plus degree camping trips this year it's just not fun i did that last year and uh it was still hot with the 5000 btu window ac so if you're not new to the channel you've seen this before this is uh not going to be anything new but if you are new this is what i used in my last truck camper prior to me putting in that that window ac unit here in the back of the tailgate so this is the zero breeze little portable air conditioner and yes it actually is an air conditioner it's about a 2100 btu air conditioner so it's about half the size of a window ac unit but when i use this in my truck camper um it actually cooled it down fairly well now granted that even though the, the truck camper wasn't very well insulated it's more insulated than that is so i don't know how well it's going to work but we're going to try it tonight i've got the battery hooked up on it and it's fully charged so that battery will give me around four and a half to five hours kind of on eco mode so i brought another power station to hook it up to kind of supplement that that battery so i'm going to get this thing hooked up in the tent we're going to vent out the two big exhaust and intake tubes that are on the back of this thing we're just going to vent them out the back of the tent up here and uh we're going to see how it works guys i don't know i'm not expecting too much from it because on the way also on the way out here i realized it would be a much better idea uh to actually put the insulation kit back in the tent to help with the ac unit uh, just like it did with the heater it kept the heat in it should keep the cold air in as well but i did not bring that with me so luckily it's only 90 degrees outside but it should be all right thought i saw a beaver i did not but there is a osprey that's never going to show up on camera but the the bell i think v22 osprey the airplane slash helicopter you know uh haven't seen one in a long time just flew over pretty cool but guys i'm gonna get the rest of this uh little camping setup ready to go and then i'm gonna throw you up here in the tent and show you how we're gonna run this ac unit and see if uh it's gonna be anywhere comfortable tonight because it's it's hot and sticky out here so uh we'll see you up in the tent all right crawl in here get this light cut on Yeah, it's, it's warm. I need some airflow at least for right now. While we're trying to get this thing set up. So my idea for this air conditioner is here at the front of the tent or back of the tent, however you want to, to think of it. But we're gonna scoot this over here to the side. And I've got to figure out a way to get all of this ducted out and then kind of zipped up. So I brought a towel also that I'm going to wrap around this ducting to hopefully seal it up a little bit better tonight. I'm hoping that'll help. We'll see, but I could already use some air conditioning. So let's see if we can get this figured out. All right, so this thing's got a drain tube on it also that I've got to shoot out the back. And I'll have the tailgate closed up, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but... So on the back here, and again, sorry if you guys have already seen this, um, but if you're new, you got the you got the intake and the outtake hose. That's going to suck in and blow out air for the condenser on this thing. 
and it's got to be vented out or obviously I'm just going to be pushing hot air in. So I got to vent this out the back and then, uh, you know, zip this thing up, at least in theory. So I'm going to... Try to get this in the corner as much as I can. There we go. And then I might not have to use a towel. That's, well, let's see. I brought this towel to kind of wrap around these ducts to maybe help seal it up a little bit around that zipper. Might not, yeah, it won't hurt. So let's see if this will zip up. terrible and this is just a trial run the first time obviously me trying to see what 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 an ac will do in here and i need it but i think this will work out pretty well get this bag zipped up cool so here's in case you can't see it, I just have that towel wrapped around and it zipped up pretty tight and I can push this towel up in that crease to seal it off. And we might as well get this thing cut on. Ooh. Rocket, I'm gonna put it to full blast. Right now that's showing 88 degree air that's not gonna work but I will tell you folks again I used this two two summers ago and it surprisingly worked really well cooling off my camper so this is gonna be more like just a spot cool it's obviously it's not gonna cool this tent down because I don't have any insulation but oh okay that already feels better so there you go this is gonna be my AC for the night uh, at least I hope <laughs> I hope it works I hope it's going to at least keep me somewhat comfortable. I didn't even bring a blank. I brought a tiny little super lightweight blanket. And that's it for tonight. Because this, I believe, is the hottest day of the year. So this should be... Uh, it's definitely going to have to work pretty well. But I'm going to sit up here for a couple of minutes and see how well this thing cools off. And I'll check back in. So I've been in here for about five, six minutes and we are pushing out 70 degree air now. So it's 91 degrees outside. So it's definitely working. And the, and the cool thing about this, not, not no pun intended, it's not loud at all. It might seem loud in the microphone, but that's just the air coming out. But it's not like a window AC unit. It's pretty loud. This is not loud at all, and it conditions the air. It actually sucks in from the front of here, if it was more insulated, to get the moisture out of the air, which is the worst. So I'm actually going to turn this down. And I'm just going to let it do its thing while we head outside because it's way later than normal. Uh, due to the fact that I had to this is my second stop. So I'm already past dinner time. So I think we're gonna get dinner started and uh, We'll go from there and now we're now it's showing 69 If that shows up, I'm not sure but I'm just gonna use this little Duck tube to kind of point it when I lay down here at night or wherever I want it and I yeah, that feels good So anyway, I'm hungry Need to zip this up, keep some of that uh, cool air in here. Oh, I'm not excited about summer. So this is what it looks like from the outside. 
so not too obnoxious but uh, all right let's get some dinner cracking All right. Get my cooler turned on. There we go. And dinner's gonna be an absolute uh, five-star meal tonight gang <laughs> yeah oh i'm probably gonna get made fun of for what i'm gonna cook tonight but i don't care it sounded good so first step is is to get some water boiling and i'm gonna try to use this new little stove that i got i bought kind of of a as a backup to a backup to a backup but it looked pretty cool so we're gonna go set this thing up on the table over there and uh, see if this little contraption here can't boil us some water. It should. First, we're gonna need pot and guess that's it. So we need this, this. All right, so this just, this end of it obviously screws on to the canister. And testing this out at home, you do have to screw this thing on pretty tight for it to work. So there is the unit. Now I need a pot. All this stuff I don't need in here. That should be big enough. Lid. Okay. Fold these out. There we go. This is what's for dinner, guys, but I am not using tuna. That did not sound good. But we need some milk. Oops. And we're gonna be using this uh, chicken. First thing we gotta figure out is how to measure one and a half cups of hot water. And that I have no idea. So we're just gonna guess as to what one and a half cups of hot water is. Uh, sure, that looks like one and a half cups of water to me. And one and three quarters cups of milk. Again, I guess I need to stick a uh, measuring cup in with all my stuff because I have no idea. That's got to be at least one and three quarters cups. And I don't think I'm going to be able to make, well, I don't know. I'll have to see how much pasta this is. <laughs> Why not? I'll just dump all this in here too. Oh man. That's going to make some bugs happy. <sighs> like it never happened. Okay, now to start this thing, it's got a piezo ignition on it. And this is the, on the tip of this is the, the flame adjuster. So let's see if we can get, turn it on. I hear it.
on full blast, this thing puts out some heat. I think that's good right there. I need to stir that. This does call for butter. I forgot butter, but that's okay. We'll make do without the butter. All right, I'm gonna cover this thing up and let it boil. Well, since the instruction said to mix in the chicken when it was boiling, I guess now's a good time to go ahead and put some of it in while it gets close to it. But it smells good. Guys, I know it uh, probably doesn't look that fantastic or appetizing, but it does smell good. It's chicken, uh, broccoli, and cheese. A little bit more in there. I think that'll be enough. Give that a good stirring. I think it'll be good. But I will say I am surprised at how well this little stove is doing because a lot of times on some of these uh, little portable stoves you can't turn it down or the flame goes out. So it's, you have a real hard time, you know, cooking things at a real low heat, but this you can dial down almost to nothing and uh, the wind's not, not affecting it all, at all. So I don't think I spent more than, it might've been around 20 bucks for this. So, and it folds up in a box just like that. So it's not a bad little thing to throw in your backpack or if you carry these butane canisters around, uh, they're a pretty good deal. Can't forget the all-important Olipop. My uh, arachnophobia is hitting in again. Up there at the table, there's probably, I don't know, there's just a lot of spider webs. And I just don't feel like sharing my meal with, uh, with, all, of those, with all those guys. So we're gonna enjoy it right here on the back of the truck. Cheers. It would be better, obviously, with butter, but it's still, it's not bad for how easy this was. I guess it's kind of a good thing that I brought such an easy meal tonight, given how late it is, because it's almost, it's 7.45. And I'm normally eating dinner on these videos around 5.45 or 6, so it's, it's way later than normal. get this drain line out of my face somehow maybe maybe not yeah this is kind of just this video is kind of just like a test scenario for this but I need to come up with um, a little bit better way to well, I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not usually sitting on the back here so I guess it's fine dangling right there Might as well give the, the beaver some food. <laughs> I say that jokingly, but there are a ton of beavers out here. But I couldn't finish that whole thing, so. It's always nice to feed the beavers and the fish. Get some of this cleaned up so it's not so hard to clean when I get home.
There we go. At least that'll make this transportable and not get cheesy broccoli pasta all over my truck. It's just all over me. Maybe now you guys can get a better view of what this little stove thing was and just how small this, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get it back in this, but that's where it belongs. Look at that. It actually goes back where it's supposed to go. Not bad. This thing's just too much fun to not use, and there's all this debris down there, so might as well uh, have us a little mini fire. Well, there wasn't a whole lot going on out there tonight. Again, I kind of feel a little bit out of sorts uh, with getting here late and just kind of fumbling around, but mainly I just wanted to test out this guy to make sure that, uh, that it was gonna keep me cool if I do decide to go camping in some of this Texas summer heat. And right now, this thing is pushing out on eco mode 
it's down to 61 degrees if you guys can see that I don't know if that's making it out but these zero breezes have a little uh, thermostat at the front where the air pushes out and it kind of gives you a good indication of what the temperature is and I'll tell you I don't have a thermometer with me in here but I did test this a couple years ago when I first got it and it's pretty accurate so I do believe that it's 61 degree air because I can feel it coming out of this tube and it feels pretty good so the sun's about to go down you can tell it's kind of kind of still light out here so I think for the time being I'm just gonna kind of hang out in here I might watch a little little bit of a movie or something I don't know but uh, I didn't even feel like getting my chair out I don't know I'm lazy today I guess end of the week end of the work week another long fun work week in quotation marks so I think I'm just gonna relax here and get a movie going for for a little bit and then probably come outside and check to see what uh what night brings us and then we're gonna head off to bed because I could use a good nap but I'm glad I got used to sleeping with my head back here because if I do use this in the future it's obviously gonna have to be back here so my head's always gonna have to be back at the end of this uh at the end of this tent which I honestly don't really mind anymore I kind of like it more it feels like in a weird way I have more room I don't know why but I don't know I'm just blabbing so I'm gonna get a movie going and we'll see you folks here in a little bit Gang, I ended up watching um, Skyscraper with, with The Rock. It was a pretty cheesy movie, but uh, it wasn't a bad little action flick, to be honest. It was it was kind of like a uh, like a new school Die Hard, I guess. Just being in a in a big building, I don't know. But all I'm gonna tell you, gang, is that uh, I, I I don't want to say that I got, I didn't get cold, but I ended up having to turn this thing on its eco total lowest setting that it can go because we are pushing out 53 degree air now again i don't know if you'll be able to see that and when you push when you put this thing in front of your face it, it got cold and the cool thing is this is running longer than what i remember it running because i i still have three little lights left so I've only gone down two lights or, or two bars. So I've got three bars left and I don't think I'm gonna be able to have to run this tonight. It's gonna get down into the high 60s. So I don't think I'm gonna even have to hook it up to my Blue Eddy down there below in my truck. So I think that's gonna be, that's gonna work out great. Uh, I don't know how well this will work in, in 100 degree heat, but I, th I do think again, if I had the, uh, the insulation kit, that would work. And I forgot my battery pack to hook up these lights up front so that's why it looks kind of dark out here but i'm gonna go take a walk outside and then uh i think we're gonna head to bed because i'm old and uh it's late so i'll see you folks out on my little nightly stroll and uh i think we're gonna call it a night oh you guys can't see me at all can you let's see Wow, there we go. Well, gang, this is uh, this is kind of me calling in a night out here for this little camping episode. It got really cloudy. It looks it looks pretty cool in this. Uh, at least on the camera, it looks pretty cool with those clouds. We were predicted to have potentially some uh, severe weather, but I don't think it's going to hit us. But that stuff that looks pretty cool up there behind me. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna crawl up into the tent gang and I'm gonna watch another movie and I'm gonna call it call it a night I'm gonna relax and uh, my wife and I have we're chaperoning a uh, kindergarten nature hike in the morning so I got to get home super early in the morning to make sure we get the kids to school and the parents are ready to go to wrangle around 20 25 year olds there's a 25 year olds in the morning so uh that, that should be fun and, and thanks for all the the comments from last video the 
our little one ended up being fine. Uh, they're, they're back, both back in school uh, this week, so everything was fine. They just got a little bug, but uh, I had to come home to help the wife. Uh, that's only fair. So, gang, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, what can I, how can I say this? Probably the next time you see me, um, I'm going to have some big news to share. Uh, and that, that's got double meaning. I don't want to give too much away, but uh, things are going to be a little bit different probably in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for to see what changes are going to be coming to the channel. But I'm super excited about it. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I don't want to give too much away because I don't know exactly when it's going to happen. But something's going to happen big. So <laughs> I know that sucks. I hate doing that. But anyway, gang, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to get up in this, this tent and I don't even think I'm going to use a blanket. I think I'll be fine with just this. But anyway, gang, we will see you very soon. Uh, and I think you might be a little surprised what you see coming up here on the channel. So we'll see you soon. Take care.